The overall goal of the following experiment is to estimate net trophic transfer efficiencies of PCB congeners to lake trout from its prey, and then determine if the degree of chlorination or the degree of lipid solubility of the PCB congener has an effect on its net trophic transfer efficiency. This is achieved by first conducting a laboratory experiment in which lake trout are fed a natural food, such as bloater, over a period of at least four months. As a second step, extraction and cleanup is used to extract the PCBs from the lake trout and bloater tissues and prepare the extracts for the quantification procedure. Next, gas chromatography, mass spectrometry using negative chemical ionization, is used in order to determine the PCB congener concentrations in the fish tissues. The results show that net trophic transfer efficiencies of PCB congeners to lake trout from its prey are not significantly affected by the degree of chlorination of the PCB congeners. The results also show that the lake trout activity does not appear to have a significant effect on net trophic transfer efficiency. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like injection of the contaminant directly into the piscivorous fish or into the food of the piscivorous fish is that the piscivorous fish accumulates the contaminant in a manner that best mimics the process of contaminant accumulation in the piscivorous fish in its